My earliest memories of Nathan Jones was when I got to the club. You came across as a very intimidating figure. My first training session was with him. Yeah, it was a bit of a, a, a wake-up call to the AFL. I think my first memory of Nathan Jones, which I remember clearly, was I'd just been drafted and our manager had organised him to pick me up. So I can hear, the, hear him before he rocks up. He's playing this gangster music. He rocks up in this black truck, all black, wearing a black singlet with black sunnies and black pants, and he had his sleeves out and very intimidating. Petrarca able to get rid of one. Wriggling loose. Gives it on to the old campaigner, Jones. You could see what he meant to the Melbourne fans when he kicked the goal against Geelong in, in our final in 2018. The crowd absolutely erupted and... You know, you can see the players get behind him. Have a listen to the Melbourne fans. Turn to the crowd and I think it's, you know, I get goosebumps even thinking about it. Uh, to see him be able to do that and, and the smile on his face after the game was absolutely amazing. He's one of the, the best articulators. I'm not sure if that's a word, but I'm going to run with it. He gets, he gets right involved with our young players. He's involved in their WhatsApp, which I'm sure he wouldn't get any of their slang. He's like a dad. He gets angry and frustrated sometimes with us young boys, but at the same time, he loves and cares about us. I feel like he's been the oldest player at the club the whole time I've been there. He's actually uh, very different, I reckon, what people would imagine. One of the, like, kindest, softest-spoken people you would come across. So much rest here on the experienced shoulders of Nathan Jones, and he's got it! Every time I've sort of come up against has challenged me, Jones has been right there for me. He's been a terrific support. He's the heart and soul of the club at the moment. I couldn't speak quite more highly of us. He typifies what we want to become as, as Melbourne people, um, as Melbourne football club players. A chance for Jones to sit. He's going to put it in the back of the net, and he does. Uh, he's promised me that he's going to get a tattoo of my head on his right butt cheek if we win a flag, so... Um, that's the last spot that's left, I think, so I'll claim his right, right butt check. His left one's taken.